Hey guys, how you doing? Um, on this video here, I got a call for um, water heater wasn't working, so I went down there. It was a sealed combustion water heater, and uh, the pilot was out, so I lit the pilot. Now, my take on the sealed combustion water heaters, um, I've seen a lot of problems with them because what happens is they're all sealed up, and they've been out now for about five, six years. And what happens? They got like a screen on the bottom. So what happens is they run. They got to pull air in through that that screen on the bottom, and that screen gets blocked sometimes with lint and dirt and dust. Cause you know, you know, most people are slobs. Just to be honest. So um, I think that they're gonna be a problem in the future. I've had quite a few of them that I had to go there and blow out with compressed air just to be able to get them working. They would run, and then they would just die from no oxygen because the screens get blocked so on this video here I just did a combustion test on um, a water heater that I put in you know I don't know four four years ago something like that uh, I got it lit for the guy the guy was on vacation he called me uh, to go get it ready for him so he could come home his wife could take a shower type of thing so uh, I just did a combustion test with the Testo 320 nothing special but um, I like the I like the Testo 320. I like to do combustion analysis. I like to check and see if there's a problem. And like I said, um, I'm gonna be bringing more videos of water heaters that are are starving for air, and um, those are gonna put out high CO. I know that because you know uh, not the proper air, the fuel mixture is gonna be an issue. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. It's not a long one, but I'm just bringing it anyway. All right, guys. I'm gonna check this water heater. It was here. The pilot was out. I'm gonna check and see what the combustion is on it. Right here. It's clear, so I can start my meter up in here to see my parts per million's fine. Zero went out. Once it gets to zero, full gas. Okay, hit okay right there in the middle there. And when we do it, we see. I'm gonna go up to natural gas. So arrow up. Natural gas. Hit okay. Hit that green button, okay. That's the okay button again. It'll start it. In the water heater, you gotta do both sides. It's like a little swirly thing that goes up in the middle. <coughs> yeah, we're gonna do both sides, so Let's see what I can do here. I'll get it in on this side first. This is a sealed combustion water heater. What my concern is on these water heaters is sometimes what happens is they'll pull lint in and there's a screen on the bottom that get blocked. And when that happens, they starve for air and they shut off. Um, these, all these new sealed combustion water heaters are going to be a problem in the future. This one's looking fine. Well, parts per million is what I'm looking for on um, the carbon monoxide levels. This one's looking good. Very good, actually. What I can do is I could, um, you know, stop this uh, clipboard. Stop it, clipboard. And I'll save that. What I can do is I can move it over to the other, the other side, which will be the same. The other, 
the other cell, the other side of that swirl. And I'll start it again. And I can do the draft. The guy's got a hole in it. I can do the draft. Shots per million. Stack temperature looks a little high. What I'm concerned about is the uh, carbon monoxide levels. I don't have any cheat sheet on the water heaters. I'm going to get something on that. Atmospheric gas boilers, 500 degrees. Stack temperature 325 to 500. Oh, I'm that one. Come on, so I'm good with that. We'll stop that and we'll clipboard that and I'll do the draft. I want to check what the draft is. The draft you got to do is come over to here, come down the draft, come down one to draft and uh, hit OK. Uh, start by hitting that button. If it's a green arrow, you got to start it. Right now it's zeroing out, you see it. Pull it out. Pull it out to zero it out and I'll go in and on the stack and see what we'll go for draft. Point oh three, I'm good with that. That's good. I'm getting some good draft, negative draft is what I'm looking for. So we'll stop and we'll print. Pull my thing out, let it cool off a bit. Yeah. Guys, why he's going? I said, "Oh, you like the pilot? Pilot was out." I lit the pilot about a year ago, I guess. Plumbing, heating, and air. No, I'm on my way there now. No, no, and I'll, I'll get Chet over there. If there's a, if the, we can't get it going, I'll get Chet over there. He's got some um, electric heaters we can put in there for now. Yeah. Well, no, but I'll get over there and see what's going on with it. Um, did you go by and see if it was icing up? Did you see that? Uh, was it all white? Did you? So you didn't go out there yourself and look at it, no. Well, I'm, I'm on my way now. I'm just I'm just finishing up one now, and you're you're next. So I'm going there. I'm on my way. And uh, like I said, if we can't get it going, I'll get Chet. We'll get them electric things. And I'll have to get the pots. Do what I gotta do. I'll let you know, okay? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, but. Tape, like a Washington test, and my tag. 
and he's running. So it's good. The furnace I've worked on before is a Goodman furnace. And the stuff I've done to it. Alright guys, appreciate you watching.